Hello and welcome to vlog number 145. This week, at the request of my wife, I'm going to talk about mindfulness in Parkinson's disease. So, what exactly is mindfulness and how could it help a person with PD? Mindfulness is a simple form of meditation that has become increasingly popular in recent years and has been shown to be effective for people suffering with stress, anxiety, irritability and depression. Some studies have also shown that people who meditate on a regular basis see their doctors less often and spend less time in hospital. Improvements in memory, increased creativity and faster reaction times have also been noted. I found the following on the website www.franticworld.com A typical meditation session consists of focusing your full attention on your breath as it flows in and out of your body. Focusing on each breath in this way allows you to observe your thoughts as they arise in your mind and, little by little, to let go of struggling with them. You come to the profound understanding that thoughts and feelings, including negative ones, are transient. They come and they go, and ultimately you have a choice about whether to act on them or not. Mindfulness is about observation without criticism. Parkinson's UK offer a mindfulness toolkit on their website www.parkinson's.org.uk which consists of a series of videos and an audio session that introduce the key techniques and benefits of mindfulness. So that's probably a good place to start if you fancy giving it a go. It could be helpful, however, to have mindfulness taught by a qualified instructor to achieve the greatest success. As for what mindfulness can do for people with Parkinson's, researchers at the University of Antwerp in Belgium set out to answer that very question. They randomly assigned 27 Parkinson's patients to either a mindfulness-based intervention group or a usual care group. The mindfulness group participated in an eight-week programme consisting of a weekly two-and-a-half-hour session that included mindfulness exercises such as yoga and meditation. They were also given guided meditation recordings so that they could practice this technique on their own at home. To determine changes in the brain, the study participants were given MRI scans before and after, and the differences they found are quite remarkable. Those who had been assigned to the mindfulness group showed increased density of grey matter in the left and right hippocampus, in the right amygdala, left thalamus, left occipital lobe, and the left and right caudate nucleus, all of which can be affected by Parkinson's. The control, or usual care group, showed increased grey matter in the cerebellum, which is an area of the brain that is thought to compensate for the other regions that Parkinson's has damaged. This change was not noted in the mindfulness group, suggesting that the cerebellum didn't need to compensate when mindfulness was practiced. I don't know about you, but I was really surprised that meditation could result in actual physical changes to the brain and I'm definitely going to give this a go. It'll be interesting to see if it can help with the stress and anxiety that is currently dominating my life. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you would like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.